What's wrong, Mary? The baby. I've worked so hard for the school for years. Please, now go to my Paagi sister. I still have a family to feed. It's 15 days. I don't mind cutting down my work. Just please don't let me off. I'm going to go to my anak sister. Excuse me, sir. May I ask where the nearest hospital is? As you can see, my sir, please. I'm not in the mood right now. I can't help you. Pregnant, she's about to go to labor. I just don't know what to do anymore. Oh, please stop. Has she started her contractions already? No, well, then I'll have to advise you to look for another hospital. We're currently filled to the last bed and we have too many patients to take care of. I'm afraid that. Dolph, please, there must be another bed or just a space for me to deliver my child safely. Please, Dolph, please, anything will do. Ma'am, I understand the frustration, but our hospital currently is in a good environment for you to deliver your child. I recommend you find another one. Somebody get the first shot! If you'll excuse me. Useless. 
time of death. No, not yet! We can still bring her back! Stop it. We can't do anything else for her. No, don't! She'll wake up. Come on, come on! Time of death. No, don't! I can still bring her back. I just need a pulse. Stop this. Time of death. <laughs> 11, 11 a.m. December 24, 2021. <laughs> My wife here, she's due for labor, and we're hoping you could help her. I'm sorry, sir. I see. But her hospital is actually too full for us to handle birth and delivery. Oh, but doctor, please, you walked for so long. I'm truly sorry, sir. But if you could look at this, I can show you how full we are already. Okay, good morning, class. Good morning. Okay, no response. Okay, how about you turn on your cams so that your teacher can see you? Okay, no response still. Um, anyways, let us um, continue with our discussion today, shall we? So, for mathematics, we will have... Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Um, wait for a while, class. Your teacher is trying her best to connect again. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but please be patient, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so... So, I think we have taken up so much of our synchronous period. So, I think that's all for today, and I hope you learned a lot. And... I just wish I could see you when I discuss, so I wouldn't feel so lonely. Anyways, goodbye and thank you everyone. Okay, no response still? Okay, thank you. Shadow. We really need help to find shelter for my wife. As you can see, she will need to deliver the baby any minute now. Please, Miss Santiago. Maybe you can help us or do you know someone who can? I'm so sorry. I can't help you. You can go to the hospital or knock on other houses. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to get that. No. <laughs> worried about you. You don't have to be pa. I'm really fine here. Oh, hold on, Ma pa. I think there's someone at the door. Don't just open the door to anyone, Nak. Be extra careful. Good, uh, good afternoon, Anak. Uh, my wife and I need help. Hello. I'm so sorry, Ma. No, my, 
My parents are not home at the moment. I can't help you. Please. I'm so sorry. So your mother and I have something important to tell you. Really? What is it? Remember when we told you last week that we found a way to go back there? I'm sorry, Anak, but we can't go home right this time because the cases here are increasing again. The government just banned air travel this morning. Are you okay, Na? Huh? Huh? Yes. Yes, of course. I'm okay. As long as you're safe and healthy there. I'm also happy here. Mary, I'm really sorry for being a failure today. I couldn't find you a proper shelter. And you had to walk a long way. I, I know you're beyond tired. No, Joseph. I'm nothing but grateful to you for everything you've done. You've been with me since the beginning and you never left my side. And for that, I thank you. I just don't know what to do anymore. I don't wish to fail you any longer. Don't worry. I know we will find a way. God will always show us the way.
I'm a nurse. One more, okay? One more. Okay, let, you can do this. Okay, one, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I just make things right even for once. Why do I always fail at the things I give my all? Kailangan ba puno ka sakit para batiyon ang kalipay? How can I give when what they need is all that I lack? What about you? What can you give this Christmas? No matter how miserable we are, we are gifted to give. Our problems can stop us from being generous. Each person has their own problems, but as gifted people, we're still capable of helping, loving, and giving.
What about you? What can you give this Christmas? God comes among us, Emmanuel, Eucharist with us, with great hope, joy, and anticipation. We celebrate Christmas as one Thurishian community. On this feast, we know about the details of Christ's birth, as narrated in the Gospels, which highlight the Lord's favor upon the poor and the lowly. Jesus is born as one of the poor, laid in a manger in a stable. In this celebration of the birth of Jesus, may we be reminded that we ought to be like him. Eucharist, broken and shared with the poor. Christ's presence among us brings us immense joy. However, St. Francis of Assisi, the saint who so loved Christmas, reminds us that joy is not about money or pleasure, that our joy is increased the less attached we are to material things. The one Christmas gift that really matters is Jesus. In him, we see God face to face. He is the true light that enlightens all people. We now light the fourth Advent candle called the angel's candle to remember that we are heralds of Christ's birth. The story of Christmas is also the story of Jesus being born as King, Savior, and as servant of humanity. And through our baptism, we also become sharers of this same gift. Servant leadership is the model of the Bible for the people of God. The foundation of servant leadership is this. The leader is first and foremost a servant of God. Servant leadership will only endure if the servant leader maintains a consistent focus on reflecting the heart and mind of God. The servant leader will then be the servant to God's people. This takes faith. Faith in the unchangeable character of God. Faith in the example of God. And faith in the love of God for his people. This year, like the last, has been difficult for all of us. But we hold on to hope that amidst the fear and loss that the pandemic has brought, God is with us, has always been, and will always be with us. Jesus is the Emmanuel, God with us and light of the world. May we, as servant leaders, make Jesus present in the lives of people around us by spreading more hope, peace, joy, and love this Christmas. 
together with the Reverend Father William Alcalde. Let us all stand as we welcome God and one another through our entrance hymn. gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Unworthy servants that we are, O Lord, grieved by the guilt of our deeds, we pray that you may gladden us by the saving advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Isaiah. Raise a glad cry, you barren one who did not bear. Break forth in jubilant song, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted wife than the children of her who has a husband, says the Lord. Enlarge the space of your tent. Spread out your tent cloths unsparingly. Lengthen your ropes and make firm your stakes, for you shall spread abroad to the right and to the left. Your descendants shall dispossess the nations and shall people the desolate cities. Fear not, you shall not be put to shame. You need not blush, for you shall not be disgraced. The shame of your youth you shall not forget. The reproach of your widowhood no longer remember. For he who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back like a wife forsaken and grieved in spirit, a wife married in youth and then cast off says your God. For a brief moment, I abandoned you, but with great tenderness, I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath, for a moment, I hid my face from you, but with enduring love, I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I swore that the waters of Noah should never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you, though the mountains leave their place and, his, and the hills be shaken. My love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord who has mercy on you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the messengers of John the Baptist had left, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see a reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine garments. Those who dress luxuriously and live sumptuously are found in royal palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet, this is the one about whom Scripture says, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John, yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. All the people who listened, including the tax collectors who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledged the righteousness of God. But the Pharisees and the scholars of the law who were not baptized by him rejected the plan of God for themselves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. There is a story about a young boy who checked the presents under the tree every day. He loved looking through them, arranging them, and counting them. One day, he discovered that his sister had more gifts than he did. He ran to his mother very upset. Katie has more presents under the Christmas tree than I do, he cried. His mom explained that getting gifts under the tree is not what Christmas is really all about because Jesus is our greatest gift. My dear friends, Christmas should be a time of joy. Today, we learn our true joy is in Jesus' birth, not the presents we get. In fact, God tells us that giving is even better than receiving. In the Bible, John the Baptist was sent to prepare people for the coming of Jesus he told them to repent of their sins and prepare their hearts for the coming of our Savior. What should we do? They asked. John replied, If you have two coats, give one of them to the one who has none. 
If you have food, share it with those who have none. This message is for us too. If we want to experience the real joy that Jesus wants for us, then we must learn to share. By sharing what God has generously given to us, we will receive an even greater gift, the gift of joy. What is one way you can give others joy during Christmas? As administrators and teachers, we can give others joy by being true to our mission, by becoming selfless and trying to be gracious to our learners and constituents. To the parents, you can give joy by being compassionate to your children and understanding, to continue the good examples to your children. Show them the true meaning of sacrifice and love. To our learners, you can give joy to your parents and teachers by giving the best of everything, your performance tasks and academic requirements. You can give joy to others by allowing yourself to be gifts of presence and trying to uphold the values of Christ in your individual lives. My dear friends, truly, giving from the heart fills your life with joy and nourishes your soul. Giving provides an intrinsic reward that's far more valuable than the gift. Giving takes you out of yourself and allows you to expand beyond earthly limitation. True joy lies in the act of giving without an expectation of receiving something in return. Finally, giving is one of the best investments you can make towards achieving genuine happiness. True giving comes from the heart with no expectation of reciprocation. You'll find that the more you give, the more you'll receive. And Jesus Christ has shown us the way. Amen. Jesus, the Emmanuel, stay with us. May the Pope, the bishops, the priests, the religious, and all those entrusted with the proclamation of the good news be attentive hearers of the word, believe what they preach, and live what they believe. We pray. Jesus, the Emmanuel, stay with us. May our country's leaders bear witness to their commitment to lead with honesty and integrity, that through the guidance of the Holy Spirit, they may always seek the ways of righteousness and justice, especially this coming elections. We pray. Jesus, the Emmanuel, stay with us. May those affected by the pandemic and the victims of violence, the children, women, sick and the dying, the unemployed, out-of-school children, and those unjustly treated, 
find people who witness God's mercy and compassion by their life of genuine service. We pray. Jesus the Emmanuel, stay with us. May our families take the challenge to face the problems brought about by this pandemic so that our children may grow up in a healthy, happy, and safe environment in the new normal. We pray. Jesus the Emmanuel, stay with us. May we, Theresians, give witness to Jesus through a life of servant leadership, our search for truth and peace, and our struggle to foster love and service in our homes, school, and community. We pray. Jesus, Jesus Emmanuel, Emmanuel stay, stay with us. us. May our departed brothers and sisters, especially those who served STC of Cebu, experience the loving mercy of God and join in paradise the company of angels and saints. We pray. Jesus, Jesus the Emmanuel, Emmanuel stay, stay with us. us. Lord, hear the prayers of your people. The birth of your Son, as human, rejoice in the gift of eternal life when he comes in glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him, 
with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you 
throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's commanded form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oracho Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people past to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. 
Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsud. Pray for us. Let us all be seated for the words of gratitude to be followed by a Christmas message from our very own school directress, Dr. Teresa Nilda Pinili. On behalf of St. Teresa's College of Cebu, ICM Sisters, Administrative Team, Faculty and Staff, I would like to express my gr heartfelt gratitude to the following people who made this Eucharistic celebration possible and meaningful. To the BED CLF area headed by Madam Maribeth Cardenas and Ms. Rachel Antaneo for preparing the liturgy and facilitating the smooth flow of our Eucharistic celebration. To Mr. George Lucas, Mr. Henry Hintapa, Ms. Jean Cortez, and Mr. J.R. Librando for the technical setup. For the maintenance staff, headed by Sister Marifé Sibial for the physical setup. To the lectures, lectors and cantors, our grades all students, Justin Hine, Francis Bacalso, Pia Reyes, Julian Arpon, and Jocelyn Feliciano, and their trainer, Madam Carmela Samar, and to Mr. Pierre Binondo with his angelic choir for the liturgical music. To our Christmas Story production team and tableau, Ariella Osmania, Kyla Orsal, Monica Rioma, Danielle Conde, Mark Padulio, Jocelyn Feliciano, Vania Quintanar, RJ Max, Christelle Poe, Patricia Siase, Justin Hine, Camille Bascar, Bray Honorio, Dana Jimenez, Lian Hover, Nina Paulo, Julian Arpon, Francis Bacalso, Pia Reyes, Sean Paul Domingo, Latrell Paul Domingo, Alexia Lingao Lingao, Niara Ardiente, and Elizabeth Zamora. To Father William Alcalde for presiding the Christmas Mass today. And lastly, we give thanks to our Lord God Almighty, who never ceases to love and bless us. Thank you very much, and a blessed Christmas, one and all. In the Christmas story, as portrayed in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2, verses 15 to 20, we can imagine the angels going away from the shepherds to heaven. The shepherds said to one another, Let us go then to Bethlehem to see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went in haste and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, 
They made known the message that had been told to them about this child. All who heard it were amazed. And Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. These are indeed the scenes and the words that we, like Mary, treasure in our hearts. In this Christmas season, we retell the story of Jesus' birth. We know the story, and still, we keep returning. It remains in our heart and memory, and it offers our mind and heart new lessons, especially in this time of pandemic. Jesus' birth and life story is a narrative of hope that transcends time. And what is remarkable is that this story, according to a religious brother, impregnates our imagination, and then we give birth to hope in our own narrative. Our acts of kindness and good deeds, such as feeding the street dwellers, sharing our blessings with others, especially the Anawim, helping the victims of calamities and drug surrenderies, and taking care of our Mother Earth, illustrate how we, the Therician family, can give birth to the story of God's gift of hope for humanity. These remind us that the narrative of hope given birth in the Holy Family can be our story as well, which is also shown in the video entitled, A Christmas Special, Gifted to Give This Christmas. The Christmas story is a story of hope and a reminder that God was prepared to come down and to be with us as a man in order to reconcile humanity or humankind to himself. Once again, we celebrate Christmas in the second year of pandemic. We may not easily understand or accept God's presence in the midst of crisis and in the face of political uncertainty, but let us trust that God will care for us and enable us to find spiritual calm when all else is in turmoil. Together with the ICM sisters, the ICM um, communities in mission, and St. Teresa's College of Cebu community, let us pray for the virtue of hope based on our faith that things will turn out all right. Let us always remember the true essence of Christmas. As J.R. Librando's song goes, We are gifted to give in this season of joy giving. Gifted to give in this season of love. Gifted to give in this season of forgiving. Christmas is the time for us who are gifted to give. Merry Christmas, the Rijan family, and a grace-filled new year. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace.
Advance Merry Christmas to one and all. Merry Christmas to one and all from St. Teresa's College of Cebu.